Fallen off the banyan tree by Dilip Chitri. My father told the tenants to leave, who lived on the houses surrounding our house on the hill. One by one, the structures were demolished. Only our own house remained, and the trees. Trees are sacred, my grandmother used to say. Fell in them is a crime, but he massacred them all. The Shaga, the Adumba, the Nii were all cut down. But the huge banyan tree stood like a problem, whose roots lay deeper than all our lives. My father ordered it to be removed. The banyan tree was three times as tall as our house. Its trunk had a circumference of fifty feet. Its craggy, aerial roots fell to the ground from thirty feet or more. So first they cut the branches. Sowing them for seven days, and the heap was huge. Insects and birds began to leave the tree, and then they came to its massive trunk. Fifty men with axes chopped and chopped. The great tree revealed its rings of two hundred years. We watched in terror and fascination this slaughter, as a raw mythology revealed to us its age. Soon afterwards, we left Baroda for Bombay, where there are no trees except the one which grows and seeds in one's dreams. Its aerial roots looking for the ground to strike.